Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to use this intro for the two, I hopefully it splits into two parts. They're going to be long, but I think they're going to be like 35-40 minutes, but I feel like it's fine <laughs> for declutters. Um, I am filming them early, obviously, before you see them, but um, I just really need to get rid of some products. So I'm trying to be as cutthroat as possible. I feel like the minute you say cutthroat, the minute people expect you to get rid of half the collection, that's not happening. That's not what I'm saying to you. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I really, there are products that you keep for a certain reason you like especially if you're someone who wants to grow their youtube channel you want to make a presence here on youtube you keep products just in case constantly like just in case you want to do a full face of this just in case you know you want to a brand reaches out to you just in case you have this idea you know just in case constantly just in case you want to use products you don't like <laughs> you're going to keep that product you don't like but it's so toxic honestly is like the word it's just so cluttered and i love like obviously declutter is just such a great way to put it because you're getting rid of that clutter and that just like ugh. do you guys ever get those like headaches where you feel like you're underwater and you're just drowning that's how i feel like when i get too many products in my collection i'm like i gotta get rid of it like starts to get itchy i'm like get, get them out of my collection <laughs> i know that sounds so obscene but if you know you know you know um you know <laughs> so anyway i'm so excited again they're gonna be super long so i won't talk for long first if you guys like this video definitely give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button before i say let's get started um i do have a mercari if you guys want to check out any of the products i uh, um i'm gonna be uploading um check them out some of them need to be thrown out and i know people are so gung-ho over like you need to give it away and you need to do that if it's old i'm not gonna keep it i just had a horrible sty in my eye that's still not a hundred percent like my eyes not a hundred percent i don't know if it'll ever be a hundred percent just because i don't know i don't know if it'll ever be but that to me is like enough of a excuse to just throw it out i'm not gonna keep garbage and i'm not gonna give garbage away like it's so wrong and i know like we want to use it up and we want to you know be responsible but it's so bad it's like i'm not gonna sit here and just use a moldy lipstick because i need to use it up the answer is no and then i also will not make someone else do that i ran over um some products i'm gonna give away some products i will upload some products i will throw out so that's just like now without further ado <laughs> let's just get started all right so here we go with primers i'm gonna take them all out and then i'll put them back in so right now we have like hydrating then the bottom we have like illuminating uh primers again sorry if you can hear the game in the background but i really want to declutter so anyway i'm gonna take them all out right right Right, so illuminating primers this wet n wild one is new so i'm gonna go ahead and keep that i actually do like it um but i just don't use it a lot this is actually the two randos i should say in my collection honestly three randos <laughs> they're all so different um this is like obviously an oil primer it's the only one i have so i'm gonna keep jacqueline the next one honestly i could probably get see myself getting rid of eventually but for now i think i'm gonna keep it and then Tarte, I do want to pop in a project. At the end of this year, I definitely will throw it out because then it's way too old. But um, I definitely want to work on that one this year. So those three we're going to keep. Rare Beauty is in a project, so hopefully we can use that one up. I Heart Revolution, I'm going to definitely, definitely keep that one. The e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter, of course, going to keep. Hmm... Okay, Milani Brightside and Morphe 2. That's hard because I have so many good ones. But I feel like I'll keep Milani as well. I know it's a lot of glowy primers off the bat, but um, it's going to be like that, guys. I have a big collection. <laughs> um, but we'll get rid of this Morphe 2. I actually think it breaks me out. I don't know why. Um, but it does, but we're going to get rid of this one. I do like it, but obviously the elf one is just superior, you know? All right, of course we're keeping the Sephora one. I love the Sephora Hydrating Primer. Fenty, I definitely want to use up because I'm almost done with it, so definitely keeping that one. I honestly don't see myself getting rid of any of these. Essence, hopefully I can use up soon. Um, Tarte, I'm going to try to keep using Milani Supercharged again. 
and then Catrice, gonna try to use up. So, <laughs> didn't really, this one's literally, I probably have one more use out of this, um, but I guess we'll pop it in here. So I guess technically we're, we have one, two, three, 13 primers. So again, hopefully I can dwindle this down, but I just don't want to declutter just for the sake of decluttering. Um, I want to like declutter products I'm not using, but my primers I feel really good about. All right, now concealer. All right, I'm going to keep the Juvia's Place Magic Concealer. Um, I do really like this concealer. I could see myself using this up, but I do really like it. So we're going to keep that one. Kosas is newer, so definitely keeping that one. KBD, um, definitely keeping for now. It's really a dark shade for me. And I don't know why it looks so dry. I don't know if you guys can see that. It looks so dry in there. But I do like it. I'm going to keep it for now. NYX, gonna keep. Sephora, of course, keeping. I actually will get rid of this LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. Um, I just don't use it, and I feel like LYS have some banger products, but just not all of them. Some, the, you know, the ones that aren't, to me, they're, they, I don't think they have any bad products. I feel like their stuff is just subpar sometimes, and so it's like, when I have 15 concealers, then this one just doesn't get used. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Yeah. This one I don't like so much, but I am going to keep it because I think I'm going to throw it in a project coming up. It's really tiny, so I hope I can use it up. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Radiant Concealer. I don't know. Um, This one I just don't use that much anymore, but I feel like I could use it up. So it's the Milani um, Brightening Under Eye Tint. Let's try to use that one up eventually. Other ones that I love, Elf, Too Faced, Born This Way, Obsessed. Okay, perfect. And then Wet n Wild Incognito and ABH um, Magic Concealer in the shade 6. I'm going to keep both of those. These both are new as well, but we're going to keep them. Great, so everything kind of fits in there. The last concealer, I am going to get rid of this Tarte C Hydro Sealer. Um, I was going to keep it for a full face of Tarte, and it's not a bad concealer. It's just not like cream of the crop. So I'm just going to get rid of that, those. So for concealer, I'm getting rid of two, and then primer, I'm getting rid of one. I know it's not a lot so far, but I promise we will get to the cutthroatness. <laughs> I'm keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven! Oh my gosh. Okay, foundations, I have so many. One, two, three, four, five, six, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen foundations, and I like to keep this number pretty low. Um, so honestly, I have it pretty broken up into how I use them all. Like these are my most used right now, and then kind of like that. But I'm gonna take them all out again. We'll go over them. I, we'll put them all back in. Alright, we'll just start off with this one. It's Patrick Ta, the Cream Foundation. I'm going to keep this for now because it was expensive, and so I want to give her some use, and I might pop it in a project or something, um, but I'm going uh, to keep that one for now. Um, the ones that were kind of in the front row, the House Labs, new, new foundation to me, so definitely keeping that. LAS has been my current go-to, so definitely keeping that. Again, these two are new as well. NARS and Wet n Wild Photo Focus. Going to keep both. Alright, and then the other one that was up here is Rare Beauty. I'm going to keep this for sure. It's the Tinted Moisturizer. I definitely like it more in the summer, um, but going to keep hang on to it for now. Could pop it right down there, I suppose. Alright, this one, it breaks my heart, but this one was also front, front row. It's the Oma by Sharon C. Flawless Skin Foundation. I honestly could see myself repurchasing in this, this in the future, but it just smells so bad. And it never smelled like that. Oh my gosh, something, it smells like chemicals, like spoiled chemicals. And, like, you know if you have, like, a, a water, like a watered down kind of chemical like a mop or anything like that and like it starts to sit there for a while and then it starts to smell that's kind of what this smells like just like a expired 
cleaning product or expired chemical and I don't know why it smells like that um because it never smelled like that before and I don't know what's in here actually I do know there's some crazy things in here oh dandelion extract maybe that just goes bad fast um but I haven't feel like I haven't had that it for too long I definitely haven't had it as long as some of my other foundations that are still kicking it so I don't know it sucks but I have to get rid of it um the shade is nice for me though honey honey t2 is a good shade match if you're a shade twin in anything um but it smells so bad I'd like to use up Milani, so we're going to keep her. I am torn about this one, so I'm going to save it for a little bit. Of course, keeping my She Glam Skin Fluencer, the love of my life. Of course, keeping Kosas. I really like this concealer. I mean, this foundation as well, and this one's going to be easy to use up. And then Tarte Maracuja is the love of my life, so duh, keeping... And then this is from Monat. My sister does, like, the hair stuff. I've only used this, I think, once, but I'm definitely going to give it another go. Um, you know, you kind of buy stuff so you could support your family here, but we're going to try that one. We're going to keep trying that one. I'll keep that one. Okay, the rest of these are kind of fair game. Definitely getting rid of this Mare Beauty Stick. I hel I've held on to it time and time again. I just, I just don't wear it. I don't really love it. It's not a type of product for me, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm also going to get rid of this Urban Decay Hydromaniac. I really wanted this so bad for so long. And then I think it went on sale or something and I bought it. 41 Light Medium. I don't know if it's the shade or what. It's just something I don't reach for enough. Like to get my money's worth out of it and to justify like keeping it. Um, because oh, you can see I have plenty of other foundations that are like this. Like this one, this one. You know, even like LYS, Rare Beauty. Like light co lighter coverage or can be lighter coverage. Or can be medium coverage, but still skin-like and just hydrated. And so this one got to go. <laughs> so sad. Alright, and then last two. So two drugstore ones. The NYX Total Control. I don't know what's wrong with it, but it separates so bad. I don't even know if you could tell in there. But it separates every single time you lay it down. And that, to me, is like such a big turnoff. I don't know how long it was sitting at Ulta or what, but it, I, I just, I don't use it. And then the shade Golden Honey was dark for me in the summer, which means it's extremely dark for me right now. Okay, let's see how many we have left. Okay, we have 11 foundations and two left. I feel like 15 is a good foundation spot for me, but... I don't know if I want to keep both. So now this one is discontinued. I don't think you can get it at Sephora unless it's on like sale, right? I mean, unless you can see it in like the sale section. It's a clean glowing skin foundation and I can't even find it online anymore. Um, so you can't get it anymore, but I really liked it. This one is just way too dark for me right now and I don't know if I should just save it for the summer because I did like it, but it's not like, to me it wasn't like anything exceptional. But I feel like maybe I'll keep both. Well, actually, that's a lie. I have Wet n Wild for a drugstore and Milani and, and She Glam for affordable. We got LYS, Rare Beauty for like middleman. Oh my gosh, I also have. Oh my gosh, okay, okay, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. My mom has my other Sephora foundation in in the bathroom because she was using it because her foundation was too light for her. So she needed something a little bit deeper. So she was mixing it with that. But that's my foundation. That's the love of my life. So I'm never gonna win that one. But that makes twelve foundations. And if I keep both, that's already fourteen. Oh gosh, it's not really starting off the next year so hot. Should I just get rid of both? Let's do it. I'm just going to get rid of both. And I really love Revolution um, products, but their shades are just so terrible. I don't know what's wrong. That That's like super, super dark. And then this one, I really do love this one. I'm honestly like, I could see myself using it up. Well, no, that's a lie. <laughs> I probably would have used it up eventually, but it's hard now to use it in like videos and stuff because you guys can't get it. So I'm going to get rid of this one um, as well. Okay, so then we have that other Sephora one. I'm just going to rearrange this, I think. Just a smidge. Alright, so now we have 12. 12 foundations. We got rid of 6. 2, 4, 6. Woohoo! 
All right, so I could just leave those there because they are my favorites. Jacqueline X Robin. I really do. I like the setting powder. If I'm going to use a, like, tinted loose powder for my face, it's going to be this one. And so, um, obviously, well, while, while I'm here, I'll just show you. These are both other <laughs> loose tinted powders that I just don't use as much as Jacqueline. So, I'm definitely keeping Jacqueline. And then I'll, I'll come back to those because I don't know. <laughs> But loose powders, I also, of course, keeping Huda Beauty is the love of my life. And then Wet n Wild and Penis. This is really, really nice. It is a little bit more mattifying than, like, I normally go for, but I do like it, so I'm definitely keeping that one. And then the only other loose powder I have is the Complex Culture one, so I really like that. So that leaves me with four loose powders if I don't. In total, I have six, but I don't really want either of these, so I'm going to let go of Rare Beauty. I just don't like the... I wish it was translucent, basically, um, but it's light medium, so I'm going to get rid of that, and then I'm going to get rid of Elf in the shade medium. It's the Halo Glow. I used up an entire one of these, honestly, because it was good, but I just don't need another one. <laughs> Makeup styles have changed. So then for pressed powder, I literally use this one and the Kosas one every day. So those are like my number one and two. Well, they're basically both my number one right now. Um, obsessed with both of those. <laughs> and then everything else kind of falls in after that. So let's see. Let us see. Let us see. Let us see. This, I literally don't know what to, where to put this. I might move this to my highlighters. It's the Shape Tape Glow Powder. I just don't know how to use this, honestly. So it's not really a setting powder. But it's like not glowy enough to be like a highlighter. I don't even know if you can see that because it's barely, like, there you go, a little bit. But maybe I'll move it to my highlighters. This one is like these two. I feel like I'm going to keep this one, though, the Sephora collection, because I like having Sephora collection on hand for now. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place, so you guys can see them back there. Um, I'm going to keep the Wet n Wild Bare Focus. Again, this is newer. It's in the shade Translucent. I like a translucent powder, so I'm going to keep that one. I honestly will keep, like, I don't mind this thing being full. It was just overflowing, and that's a lot for me. Um, I didn't want all that. <laughs> um, the Flower Beauty, I do enjoy. I liked, I think I liked it first impression more than I like it now, but I feel like I can hang on to it for a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. I need a drugstore option hanging around, too, besides just the Wet n Wild, so... Alright, then we have these two, which I really don't want to get rid of either of them. I really did like this NYX powder, but I feel like I don't use it anymore. And then this AOA Studio. Is there a pan showing a little bit? Am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. I'll just keep both because I do like both, and so I'm not going to force myself. I have some space here, you know? Alright, then I'll let go of this number 7 Lift and Luminate. I like this powder, but it's really old, and I honestly, I don't want to keep anything old. I'm so done with old products, so I'm getting rid of three powders, keeping 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 pressed, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 loose. So I feel like that's a good enough number for me. I probably could dwindle these down because these are all like the same powder, but I just don't know which one... Which one I'd keep, which one I'd get rid of quite yet. So I'm going to hang on to all of them. For now. And then this Shape Tape Glow Powder, honestly, I really don't know what to do with it. I feel like this needs to be like on the chopping block. I really don't know. I'm just going to put it to the side for now. Alright, now we got some bronzer, blush, and highlighters. You guys see how chaotic this looks. I like the concept. Obviously, I don't like just the chaos like I need it to be a little bit calmer um so let's hopefully get rid of some products here let's see let's see I am keeping all my ColourPop I feel like this is the most satisfying thing in my entire collection <laughs> I don't know if you can see that well enough but I have like my super shock bronzer my chamomile blush and then the Winnie actually I could get rid of this this is the ColourPop Winnie the Boo Pooh highlighter I literally don't wear this it's literally just super cute down there but I could just pick up another <laughs> something um, if I want. So I'm going to get rid of that, actually. I lied. But I really like both of these down here. And then, of course, my High School Musical blushes are, like, stunning. Like, stunning. Literally stunning. So obsessed keeping both of those. And then, of course, my Harry Potter highlighters are going nowhere. Even though I don't use Hedwig or 
Buckbeak. Um, they're so aesthetically pleasing that I'm going to leave them there till I die. Okay. Now, should I just take everything out? Yeah, let's do it like that. Oh, gosh, it's going to be horrible. Is it bad that I wish that some of these things... I literally, right now, I was like, maybe I will have a casualty. Then that'll make my decision e easier. <laughs> like, if these fall over, like, oh, well, then obviously I can't use it. All right, so highlighters. Um, I'm definitely keeping my Our Heart Revolution and Buddy, even though I don't use it a lot. Um, I'm not going to get rid of it, so I'm going to keep that one. As far as highlighters go, I feel like my highlighter collection is pretty well-rounded. Of course, my number one is <laughs> Dobby right now, but I'll never let go of Becca Champagne Pop um, ever in my life, even if I, like, literally, I don't know, if, even if it grows mold. Also, same with um, the Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive. Again, just going to keep it till I die. So those two stay. I really like having Nabla around for, like, a subtle kind of highlighter it's very it's very subtle but it's pretty and so I really like that so I like having that one around and then Jaclyn Iced I like having around for obviously that blinding like white highlighter so I enjoyed that one and I really like her formula as well and then of course the Revlon Skin Likes Skin Lights is the love of my life so definitely keeping that one um as well So I definitely feel like I could get rid of this LA Girl highlighter um, in the shade Shine Bright. It's really nice, and it really is that blinding highlighter, but I just don't need it. And I have plenty of other ones, and that one's a little bit, like, yellowy, icy for me, and I already have, you know, all of those. So for highlighters, I mean, honestly, as far as usage goes, I have one, two, three, four, five, six that I use, <laughs> but seven, eight, nine, nine in total. Um, this, I'm just going to declutter this. I just don't, I don't feel my, like I'm going to use it for anything. And I don't want to keep holding on to it when someone else could figure out a way to use it for me. So, I'm going to get rid of that. Alright, blush. So we have this e.l.f. duo thing. I don't know what I want to do with this. I'm going to put a pin in that one. Hmm... Also put a pin in Tarte. Definitely keeping Pat McGrath. This is Nude Venus. Paradise Venus. So this is the deeper version. It's such a pretty color. Obsessed with the formula. Of course, keeping Miss Patty. Miss Pat McGrath. Um, I, this one is hard for me. Because I also have this. Is this one similar? That one's not really similar. But I feel like I'm going to keep both of those. If I keep both of those, I feel like I have to be cutthroat about all the other ones I keep. But I feel like I want to keep both of those because they both have a bronzer buddy. And I just love <laughs> keeping all the siblings, you know? <laughs> it's so OCD, but I just love it. I really just want mostly one in everything. But that's so, like, hard. I think I am going to let go of this Lawless Phoenix blush. It's just, you see that? It's just not as pigmented as I want it to be. And then it comes off, like, super pink. I just don't feel like the formula is as good as I wanted it to be for its name being Phoenix. You know what I mean? You're going to focus. So I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to get rid of this NYX Sweet Cheeks blush in the shade um, Citrine Rose. The same kind of deal. I just don't think it's up to... Those honestly are like freaking dupes for each other. They're just like subpar as well. It's just not that good of a blush. And then I noticed this one doesn't wear too well. I thought it really did, but it really played me, I guess. I don't know. So I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to keep the Sephora Collection blush. This is new to me. It's in the shade Shame on You. It actually is this really light blush, but on top of a like deeper cream blush, it's literally stunning. So definitely keeping that one. Um, now this one is hard because I don't have anything berry like this, and I do like occasionally want that, but it's so occasionally like, is it worth it? Honestly, yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm also going to get rid of this Kosas Papaya 1972 blush. It's really old, and again, I'm not, I have no patience for old products. Even though it was good while it lasted, I just got to go. I just got to go. Thank you, Kosas, for your time. 
for your service. All right, then I have these two. I think I'm going to need declutter. I'm going to keep e.l.f. in the shade Spiced Apple. Hopefully I get more use out of it. I, it goes in through spurts. Like, it is so scrumptious that sometimes I just loved it, and then other times I don't use it at all. But I will get rid of the Tarte Blush in the shade Natural Beauty. I like it a lot. It's really pretty on the face, but I feel like, again, this formula is so outdated, but also it's just um, I have others that I like better. So I'm going to get rid of that one as well. I already mentally decluttered this. This is the LYS Beauty Highlighter, another product that is just fine from their brand. It's good, but, you know, it's not revolutionary, so I'm going to get rid of that one. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot about that. The only other blush that I have is the Juvia's Place blush duo in the ooh this is in the um volume one duo but is this close to this <gasps> ooh maybe i'll get rid of makeup by mario i don't need both but i feel like now if i need the berry blush fix i have it you know it's really hard to like swatch but yes okay perfecto that's great okay move over so that is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six blushes I'm keeping. And one, two, three, four, five I'm decluttering. That's almost half these. Woo! Yep, five. Okay, awesome. I didn't even count the highlighter. I mean, I did count the highlighters. I'm keeping nine technically and then getting rid of four here. Not such a great little thing. Um, not such a great, um, what is the word? declutter with the highlighters but I feel like I'm such a creature of habit I reach for the same ones over and over again <laughs> and okay I'm a failure at this like literally a failure I'm getting rid of five blushes but I'm keeping one two three four five six seven eight eight blushes I forgot about those <laughs> but that does count nine one two three four five six seven eight nine okay I'm keeping nine highlighters and nine blushes right yes nine blushes nine highlighters getting rid of four highlighters and five blushes sheesh forget everything I said all right now let's go with obviously some obvious ones I'm definitely keeping my Juvia's Place bronzer duo obsessed of obviously keeping my ColourPop Super Shock bronzer it just basically lives down there um, forever and ever. Of course, my Milani bronzer. I don't think it fits. Oh, it does. Okay, so we'll see if it fits a little higher up. We'll see. Oh, crap. Now this is awkward, though. Cover Effects Bronzer Duo. I've been obsessed with this recently. I don't know what it is about this duo that is so scrumptious, but it is so good right now. So definitely keeping that... Of course, keeping brother Patrick Taw here, which is also, this one's actually subpar, you know, but I'm just going to keep it for now because it was also expensive. <laughs> and then again, we have our, like, siblings here that just satisfy the palette here. Am I going to get rid of any of these? I honestly, ooh, okay, 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 okay. I know I'm going to get rid of this Hula Caramel because I have the Hula Benefit in the, uh, my face palette and I like that one better so I'm gonna get rid of this one I am keeping Jaclyn top down because I do really like this bronzer especially in the summer so I'm gonna keep that one does it not fit in here it does fit in here technically okay I don't know where I left off but this is the physician formula butter bronzer um it crumbles a lot but I'm gonna keep it because I really do like that I am gonna let go of the elf perpetually tan I don't remember if I said that or not it's a good bronzer it's just I believe you can't get it anymore and I think I just have to update a project pan and then move on with my life I am keeping Miss Charlotte Tilbury here um I've had it for a long time so I wouldn't get rid of it even if I like didn't like it but it's also like expensive so we're keeping her and then I do want to keep Too Faced um, Melted Matte. And this is a, goes with one of the iconic, some of the iconic products like Becca, Ofra, you know, it just lives there. So definitely keeping that one. And then I will get rid of the Makeup by Mario bronzers in the shade Medium. Um, it's a good bronzer, it really is, but it's just not, you know, everything you need and more in life. So gonna get rid of that. So I'm keeping one, two, three, four. Nine blush, nine highlighters, nine blushes, and nine bronzers. I'm getting rid of three bronzers. That's kind of crazy. It's weird, but um, that was not planned. <laughs> but 
we'll go with it, okay? This looks a little bit better. I honestly, I feel like it could be a little better with a little bit more aesthetic, but we'll keep it like that for now, okay? Okay, I know it's pretty far down, but we got some eye um, some face palettes here. So I am definitely keeping the Benefit Cheek the Mail. This is the love of my life. Again, I will always keep the Laura Lee Los Angeles Glaze Lit Kit, even though I use the one shade and one shade only. <laughs> this, I feel like I have to, I'm going to declutter it. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to get rid of it. This is the Fenty Beauty Bronzer Sunstalker. I don't know. I'm just going to get rid of it. This one is a maybe. <laughs> I'm keeping Kaja because I feel like I just don't give it enough love. And I do really like this one. So I'm going to keep that one. Also keeping Jaclyn Duo Obsessed in Love. Yes. Going to finally let go of the Hip Dot pal palette. I really did like it. I just only use like two shades. It's just not. Let's get rid of it. This one I do want to keep, though. I don't know why I want to keep it, but I love this highlighter. But maybe I got to get, like, a little single thing for it. Because um, I do like the bronzer, too. But it's really not all that. But I just want to keep it. I don't know why. And then, of course, keeping Lunar Beauty Moon Prism. Ooh! I will get rid of this Juice Beauty. I really do like it. And apparently it's like $60. And the highlighters are really, really nice. And the blushes. But I just don't use it that much. So um, I'm going to get rid of that one. Getting rid of three. Am I keeping nine? <laughs> that would be so funny. One, three, four, five, six. Only keeping six. Getting rid of three. So that's fine and dandy. All right, cream products. Same kind of deal. Going to take them all out. And then I'll bring them right back. I guess technically these are face palettes. But since they're cream face palettes, I like to keep them in this drawer. But I will be keeping both of them. They're just the Tarte C face palettes. And I love the Tarte C bronzer. This is disgusting. And the blushes are really nice as well. And then the um, duo is also really, really nice. So I'm going to keep both of those. All right. Cream bronzers. Huda Beauty Tantor. Keeping. Soul Body. Definitely keeping. Um, this one. I'm going to keep it for now. And then, oh my gosh, I'm keeping all my cream bronzers. Keeping Rare Beauty, cream, keeping NYX, keeping LYS. And then, of course, keeping She Glam and then keeping Milani. Like, these are so good. It's not even funny. I only have one liquid highlighter, but I'm going to keep, well, this is like kind of a blush, kind of a highlighter, whatever. But then I'm going to keep both of these Charlotte Tilbury wands. I'm going to let go of the She Glam blush in the shade Rose Ritual. I like the one in the Laura Lee bundle better, so I'm going to let go of this one. But I am, oh sorry, there's a liquid highlighter in here. I'm going to keep both of these. So this is Laura's blush in the shade Gold Quartz, and then the highlighter in the shade Hibiscus. So keeping both of those. I honestly don't use them that much, but they're always there if I need to. Blushes, okay. Tower 28, I feel like I can get rid of, oh my gosh, look how disgusting. I just have to update a project, and then I could get rid of that one. That looks so bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm definitely keeping Milani. I mean, honestly, it'll get old eventually too, but I'm going to keep it for now. Rose Ink is new, so definitely keeping that one. In the shade Daylily, it's so gorgeous. Rare Beauty Blushes, I'm going to keep uh, Love here, which is stunning. This one, I feel like I wanted to keep it for, like, a summer, but, like, I honestly don't think I'll ever wear that. So I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to keep Profusion, although I don't wear this one that much either. It is so gorgeous, like, so pretty. Oh, then definitely keeping Merit Beauty. This is so gorgeous in the shade Beverly Hills. So stunning. I wore that for Thanksgiving. So gorgeous. Is that all of them? Wow, I guess it is. That looks way clearer than it did a little bit ago. So I'm only getting rid of the three cream blushes in this drawer. Sorry, the three cream blushes in this drawer. But, you know, got to weed out the products I'm not using. The rest of these I love, enjoy using, all that good jazz. Okay, so that is it for this video. Setting sprays, I feel like I don't need to declutter. I just, I love them all, so I'm not going to declutter them. Next time we will do all eye products. So again, it'll be pretty long, but it's okay. 
um, we'll make it through. So that was it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.